Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited for this video because it has something to do with my other profession, which is singing. If you guys are new here, my name is Minnie. I am a recording artist, a makeup enthusiast, and a vlogger. So if you guys are interested, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Let's continue on with the fun stuff. Okay, so I just got this in. I was at Macy's and I saw this and I thought it was the coolest thing ever because it has a, um, a radio here. This is very old school and very nostalgic. And I also got the CD and the tape. This is so like old school for real. It's like back in the day when I was a kid, I used to record myself on this baby right here. And I thought it was so cool that they incorporated the style into makeup. So I wanted to do a makeup video for you guys with all these products. This one right here is the lip palette that looks like a tape. Look how cute that is. I mean, we all don't have this anymore. We're in 2018, but back in the day, it was very, very valuable. So here we have all the colors in here. So it kind of looks like you have wavelengths and volume design right here. I mean, at first I'm kind of like, uh, it's missing colors, but I get the design. <laughs> Moving on to the CD. This is evolution to the CD. Here it is. Look how cute this is. All right, so this is like basically what I lived on for eight, 10 years of my singing career. Every time I was in this studio, I always recorded and then I would burn it into this over and over and over again every single day. I probably had like 20 of these when I did one song for a video and it's a lot of CDs wasted, but thank God we don't have this anymore. Now we have the luxury of just recording and then burning it and then putting it straight into your phone so you can connect it to your computer or your uh, car or your anything you want. So we have come a long way for sure, evolution. But it does bring me back to my old times and it's super, super cute. Opening this up, we have um, blush and bronzer and highlighter and a cute mirror as well. So cute. Move on to the next product. This is the grand finale. This is the radio. I think that this is before the CD. So this and this go hand in hand. I don't think there's a CD player in this radio here, but in high school, I used to use a radio to um, perform at concerts and do free shows and then multiculturals. We always have a small radio to bring around and just be an artist basically. This is so cute. Okay, so let's open this up and see what it looks like. How do you open this? It's so easy, you just kind of lift it up <laughs> with the handle. I'm just like being all difficult with it. Okay, so you open it with the handle and here it is. It's the same design as the um, tape. So it has that volume kind of design and wavelengths, if you will. The pans are much smaller than expected because there's a lot of space here. So it was pretty pricey for for this. Let's just check it out and see if this product right here is a go or no. Before I move on to makeup, I'm going to moisturize my face with the Tatcha Cream. This is my favorite mask cream moisturizer at the moment. Makes my skin super, super nice and great thing it doesn't break me out. So that's a plus. Everything I used in the past breaks me out. Let's just tap that in. After the cream is on, I'm going to prime my face with the Sisley Primer right here. This is supposed to be for long term, so it'll keep your makeup on longer and also intensify it, make it more colorful and vibrant. It smells really, really nice too. And then I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm going to use the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard from NARS. Let's conceal that scar. If you guys follow me, you know what happened right there in that nose area, that scar. I think I'm forever stuck with it, so deal. Blend that out with a beauty blender real quick. I went ahead and did my eyebrows and foundation off camera. I used the Giorgio Armani 5.25 on my face for foundation and then for my eyebrows, I used the Dior Brow Styler to fill in my eyebrows and then also use the Chocolate Brown Anastasia brow gel to give it some texture. Just to save some time, I did it off camera. Now I'm going to bake my face using the RCMA powder, no color, and then with a beauty blender, bake underneath my eyes, right here, 
on my nose. This is where I get most oily, so I wanna make sure that part is set in stone. On my chin as well, and a little bit on my forehead. <sighs> ah! Messy, messy, messy. Now we're moving on to the fun stuff right here. I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette, open it up, go into the color Bite the Beat with my Hakuhoro brush. This is in the number S142. And then give myself a nice transitioning color in the creases of my eyes. Then I'm going to go into this color right here. This is called Beautifully Charred. Give a little bit more definition into the hollows of my eyes right here. There it is. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's try to blend it out. With that same color, I'm going to smoke underneath my eyes, right here, smoke it out. To add a pop of color, I'm gonna go into this color right here. This is called Oldie But Goody. <laughs> okay, so that was a really light color. I had to put like at least five coats until I can get this kind of color. Let's uh, do that with the other eye. I do like the minty color though. It feels very oldie. <laughs> like 70s. Right underneath it is the color Powerful Performance. I'm going to go on the outer edge of my lid right here and then give it some more color right there. I think this color kind of intensify a little bit more. All right, I think I like this color. I'm gonna fill out the whole lid because Oldie is goody, but let's do a powerful performance instead. Come on, come on now. Okay, so much better. I think I wanna add some color. I'm going to mix this color, Happy Song, and Superior Sound together, and then go into the inner corners of my eyes to add a pop of pink. This is also to highlight that area. I'm going to go into these three colors right here. This is She's a Machine, Jam Session and Club New Wave Mix. <laughs> new Wave, yes. I do this every week. I sing New Wave, Oldies, and all that good stuff. <laughs> all three colors, I'm gonna put underneath my eyes right here. And then I'm going to add this color right here. This is called Disco Therapy. It's a nice orange color. I just basically wanna try all the colors and put it on my face and see what I come up with. This is very old school though. The colors, very, very old school. I'm gonna put it right here underneath my eyes, just in this section. And I think I like this color. I wanna incorporate this color in. It's called Electric Eel. So add it in this outer lid right here to give it a pop of even more color. <laughs> There's a lot of colors I have on my eyes, which I'm totally digging. Okay, and then I'm kind of pulling it out right here in the outer corners, in the outer edge, and giving it a nice wing. Next up, I'm going to line my upper lash line and my bottom lash line, and I'll be right back. I just did my eyeliner with the Tom Ford liner, and I did some mascara. I used the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Once again, I love this stuff right here. And now I'm going to pop on my eyelashes. This is the Poopy Eyelashes from my line in the Style Dramatic. Email me if you'd like to have some. So let's pop on these lashes. Lashes are on, I'm going to wipe off all this powder and then move on to blush. Let's get this off my face. So this palette has a little bit of fallout. I can see it on the powder that I baked on my face, but it's easy to brush off, so that's a good thing. That's why I always wanna bake my face because I feel like once the powder falls onto my eyes, I could just sweep it off. Just do a swoosh, swoosh, and it's off. Moving on to the next thing, this is the disc. We are going to contour and blush and highlight because there's three of them here, and this one is called Heaven in Your Smile, Acoustica, and Wall of Desire. So let's go in with Wall of Desire for the cheeks. Let's clown up my face. 
Moving on to contour, I'm going to sculpt my face, my nose, my forehead. Just bring everything to the T-zone. More attention to that area. Everything is nicely contoured. I'm going to move on to highlighter. This is the only color, so I hope it's going to give me some light. Okay, it's giving me some some colors. It's very pigmented, very nice. It's kind of like a a green tint, even though it looks kind of brown on the palette. But this is giving me like a green tint right now. That's kind of weird. My chin, cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, and the tip. Let's move on to lips. Okay. Here we go. Lips, here we have the Bumpin' Jams. And there's a lot of colors. I think I'm gonna go with something, hmm. What would go with this look? See, when I, I can't decide, I kinda look at the names and then go with the flow. I think I'm gonna go with Breathing Fire. I think I like that name. I kinda like Happy Song as well, but maybe we can mix all three and then like contour my whole lips. Using my S143 brush, I'm going in with the color Breathing Fire. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, I'm loving it already. It's a nice color. It feels nice as well, too. I'm gonna go into this color digging right here, this dark brown, and then kind of outline my lips a little bit to give it more definition. Draw a line right in the middle right here. Give it a nice crease and then blend it out and then also up here in this area and this area right here and then I'm gonna go in with happy song and kind of brighten out the inner parts of my lips to give it an ombre effect here and then go into the color living in stereo. Put it in the very inner corners of my lips, right here. This is kind of to highlight my lips and make it look even bigger. Last step is to seal everything together. I think I'm completely done now. Just drown in this. This is my final look. It was very fun to do. I had a good time because I, I got to create and incorporate a lot of colors into this look. It's kind of like creating music at the same time. With makeup and music, it's like almost the same thing. You're creating styles, you're creating looks, you're creating sounds. All this stuff is just basically about being an artist. The palette that stood out to me the most was the lipstick. I think this one I was kind of like, oh thinking maybe I wouldn't be as impressed because you know I don't like lips in pans like this, but this one impressed me a lot, the colors. And the least impressive was the eyeshadow palette. I felt like it was a lot of fallout and the colors weren't really, I don't know, they weren't very pigmented. They kind of fell out a lot. Like even on the pan, it was just starting to come off a lot and then on my face and I had to do like five or six layers to get the colors to pop so I think that if I were to use this I would use fix plus to enhance it because the colors aren't really coming out like at first I try to uh, bring all the colors and incorporate into this look as much as I could and then here we have the disc the disc the most impressive for me was the was the highlighter um, it was very pigmented and uh, very easy to put on, but at the same time, the color was kind of like green. So I don't know if I want to put that greenish kind of tint on my face all the time. I mean, on here it looks really pretty, like really brown and like champagne-y color. Like very pretty, but on my face, I'm seeing green. Or is it some sort of like light reflecting? I don't know. Maybe it's my eyeshadow. But so far, that green on my uh, highlight, I'm not, I'm not sure if I like that. But... Overall, the lips win it. It's like the oldest one too, <laughs> the cassette tape. Back in the day when I was recording myself singing to uh, Trish, this is like basically saying, this is, this is your girl right here. <laughs> Remember where you came from, right here. <laughs>
<laughs> this was very fun and I think you can get very creative with it. It's very um, 70s at the same time too. I feel very like 80s, 70s, almost a tint of 90s, oldie time. And I try to modernize it as much as I can. Hopefully, um, it came off that way. So I hope you guys like this look and um, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys buy this palette and try it? For me, it was like, mm, meh. I think I'll keep this. I'm not sure if I'll keep this. Definitely, I don't wanna keep this because even though it's really cute, the colors in here, I feel like it took me a long time to really, really get the colors to come through. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to press the subscribe button right here. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today, and I'll catch you guys next time in my next makeup video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to check out my music as well, you know? Have you guys seen this in a while? I mean, you guys probably don't have this in your car anymore, but you can um, put it on your phone or go to my YouTube channel and check out the music section and uh, enjoy.